Hi y'all, I'm Elle. Hey yo, I'm Annette. And we wanted to take a break from restoring our 1965 Clark Cortez motorhome to basically <laughs> talk to you and say, Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you to the subscribers that have joined us on our journey so far. Um, it has been really touching and we just wanted to pause to tell you that. Yeah, it meant a whole lot to both of us. We're really surprised of the mm -hmm. level of support that we've got mm -hmm. thus far. Um, we've got friends and family and, and strangers. I like to think of strangers as friends we've just not met yet. <laughs> Hi, friends. <laughs> um, everybody from Facebook, Instagram and the car forum retro rides it's a really good ongoing car forum that's, that's still kicking it's got a really good vibe on there mm -hmm. thank you to everybody that's shown interest in that um does mean a lot we really appreciate it thank absolutely. you absolutely most definitely and so we not only wanted to say thank you but we also wanted to tell you a little bit about us we realized that while we maybe kind of sort of have some idea of how to restore <laughs> our motorhome a little bit we have no idea about the world of youtube <laughs> no bit <laughs> so we haven't even i'm good at watching it introduced ourselves. we thought we would take a moment and tell you a little bit about us Love, love, love. Wherever you go, there be 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 love. And do you want to go first? Okay. Yep. Yeah, so, hey up. <laughs> Uh, my name's Ander, uh, obviously by this um, rather suave and sexual accent. I am originally from England, originally from Sheffield, born and bred, engineer by trade. I came out to the States in 2016 on a work placement. Really liked it out here, We're based in Virginia, and it was really nice. The weather was good, the beer was better, <laughs> the food was great. And there are beautiful uh, women in there's, Virginia. There's some 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 decent, decent women knocking about as well. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I might want to look at staying out here met my now boss um and was like i really like it out here i'm gonna look for a job i think and he's like oh can help you out with that <laughs> and everything aligned and um in 2017 i got my um my working visa to live out here permanently um and that's me in a nutshell talk about how we met and oh i found like her on the internet <laughs> story founder on the internet was not a dating website at wasn't all wasn't a dating website no so our apartment building has a community forum and l was looking for people to go hiking with i was looking for a friend because <laughs> i was by myself in a strange country um and we talked and we arranged to go hiking and then she forgot about me i forgot him the hike was beautiful by the I way i bet it was i won't know <laughs> I saw the pictures, it looked yeah. great. I was standing out and looking at the top of the mountain and I thought, I forgot one person. I invited everyone else but the Englishman. So I sent you a message. I apologized the moment I got back and I said, listen, I'm so sorry that I forgot you. And in true English fashion, he said, let's go for a beer instead. <laughs> so we went for a beer. And a burger. <laughs> and a burger. And we great. talked about restoring vehicle. Yep. And traveling. And traveling. And <laughs> we love blossomed. Uh, love blossomed. That's yeah. a great way to say it. Love sweet. blossomed. <laughs> <laughs> and so now we are here three and a half going on four years yeah. later. We're engaged. <laughs> Boom. Put a ring. I liked it. So I put a ring on it. I had no idea when we have plans to get married because we used all of our wedding money to buy this. This. <laughs> <laughs> Some so. would say good, others would say stupid. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Right. So we always talk about maybe eloping or just traveling in it one day and getting married. Um, something that's not like a big type of wedding, but something that would fit us. Fit us. Perfect. And how about yourself? Oh, thank you so much for Please asking. Please introduce you to the <laughs> viewers. Thank you so much. Hi, y'all. I'm Elle. And I am from the southern state of Virginia, born and bred. She's as southern as sweet. <laughs> Tea. I am a southern sweet tea, which is terrific, by the way. For the English watching, you must try it because it really is good. It's different. It's great. It grows on you. It 
it's delicious. Basically, I started in the news industry. I was an assignment editor, producer, video journalist, which means photographer, reporter, and editor. And then I was a live news reporter. But I left that business for a couple different reasons, but the main one was because I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2012. And that is basically a progressive, chronic, supposedly rare disease where your immune system attacks itself. And so I wanted to put that in this video for those that maybe don't know about multiple sclerosis to raise awareness and also to let those with multiple sclerosis know it's going to be okay. Um, for my story, I woke one day and I was blind in one eye. Um, I since can see out of both of them, but it was very scary. But MS can have several different attacks and several different symptoms. My biggest fear that I always talk to you about is that um, paralysis. So I I may not be able to walk at some point in the future. And I've just learned a lot about MS through my journey. I've learned that my MS is not your MS and your MS is not my MS. There are so many different factors that make everyone's MS different. And also people are really scared when they get this diagnosis and they think it's a death sentence is what they say. And that's not true either. Um, if anything, I always tell you, I tell you this so many mm -hmm. times and it's so true. And it's that I'm grateful for MS because it's allowed me to appreciate everything in life and it's fueled me to want to do the things that I want to do in life instead of just sitting by and letting time pass me by. So that's when I talked to you and was like, hey, <laughs> you see this 1965 Clark Cortez on an online auction? Yeah. We need to bid on it. We should buy it. <laughs> we should. What a great idea that was. Put our dreams into motion and pack our dog and two cats inside and... Set away on the road. <laughs> So that's what we do hope to do. Um, we should mention too, we hope to do videos with our dog and our two cats. We hope to introduce them properly. Yep, um, you'll love that one. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, can you imagine Paris licking, by the way? Oh, God. <laughs> she has. Our dog has OCD. <laughs> an obsessive compulsive disorder where she Lick. licks a lot. Um, but let's let's not ruin it. We'll, we'll save the surprises for them. Let's just give her an ice cream all the time and it'll just look like she's really enjoying the ice cream. That's a great idea. But anyways, that's a little bit about me and about us. Me. And about you. Yay. <laughs> then the other part. <laughs> Sorry, a piece of the insulation just fell off the roof. <laughs> recently removed the inside if people haven't been watching and so that's why it's a bit of a mess you didn't want to film in here at all because no, you said it looks so disgusting it's awful so the other part of this video that we wanted to do is shall we call it our subscriber challenge Ooh, a subscriber challenge i'm kind of regretting the idea now <laughs> after being in here now i'm kind of regretting the idea we have 100 subscribers about and we want to grow our youtube channel so we're aiming for 500 subscribers and we thought, what would be the one thing we don't want to do right now? Uh, camp in the RV. <laughs> yeah, camp yeah. in the RV. Great. So that's going to be our subscriber challenge. If we get 500 subscribers, we're going to spend the night in our RV, which is disgusting. Yeah, there's no, like, half the insulation's missing. It leaks like a sieve. It's not protected. Oh, no, no. And there's holes in it, and... It's disgusting. There's no water supply or heat <laughs> supply. There's more mouse poo than there was even before, which I didn't think was possible. Yeah, but that's why we're sitting on this because it's, it's been, disgusting. They've been eating our soap, which is keeping spiders away. Yeah. Side note, if you put in mint soap, it keeps spiders away, but the mice seem to have a party. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we thought, hey, why not? If it's just we like get, a metal tent. <laughs> if we get 500 subscribers, we will spend the night in Air Cortez. It'll be our first night. And to add to the creepy factor of it, um, we will be spending the night here at the farm because um, we don't quite have the ability to drive it far. No. <laughs> and the farm is creepy. It's creepy, yeah. I love the farm. I, I love the farm in the daytime. But at night, yeah, I don't necessarily want to come. Talk to him about what do you think's creepy here. So at night, like it gets really foggy and it's True. super dark and super quiet. Yeah. And there's a cemetery, <laughs> a like, family cemetery a few yards from us, which I've always found strange as a child growing up. 
But, um... My mom, when she and my uncle stayed out here and lived for a few days before they moved into the house with their family, when I told my mom that we were considering this, my mom was so surprised and said, quote, it's scary at the farm. Sleeping there, I never actually felt safe. Thanks. You sold it to us. <laughs> Usually they did sell it to, to yeah. me. Yeah. I was like, oh, I want to try it. We've had crazy camping experiences. We seem to find bears that run us from our campsite. You've had a bull run into you over here. That was at the farm, though, not camping. Yeah, but now we'll be camping here at the farm, maybe. Okay. So we'll see what will happen. So we've got to get, like, another 353 subscribers. Yeah, and can I tell the story of Bigfoot? I think it's super interesting. Okay, I guess so. I just learned online, by the way, that a Bigfoot sighting has completely happened in this part, right here in this part of Virginia. Virginia? So maybe Bigfoot will stroll through the farm when we're camping. Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, that'd be super. So what do you think about the deadline, And? I think, like, 10 hours after we release the video. <laughs> Okay, I was more thinking, <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> I don't want to sleep out thinking. here. <laughs> I was more thinking, April. Your birthday's in April the third. Mine's in April the twenty-first. So maybe if we just aim for the last day of April, five hundred subscribers. It's a lot, you know. People have to determine first if they even like us. Of course, they like us. We're lovable. If you like us, subscribe. That would be awesome. If you like us, subscribe. If you want to learn more about our project, subscribe. And we'll see if we're going to spend the night in this quite disgusting motorhome in whatever state it is in by the time we get to 500 subscribers. But deadline. Deadline. Last day of April. Is, yeah. For your sanity, if anything. Yeah. Yeah, great. I'm sleeping on this bit that has the cork insulation on it still. No way. We're both yeah. going to sleep on that part. You can no, you know what? I'm going to sleep up there. I'm going to sleep no, on the bench the seat. Bed. Nope. I claimed it. I totally claimed it. You wanted the cork I'm gonna, where the mouse poo is. I'm going to buy a hammock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll discuss this at a later date. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe you'll have that video coming up, but you'll <laughs> have more on our projects for sure. So we will talk to you soon. Leave us a message. Also, tell us where you're from, who you are. Um, we've really enjoyed getting to know those of you that have reached out. It's been like the highlight in this whole yeah, it's been restoration awesome. process. <laughs> so we'll talk to you then. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all. And it was fun, fun, fun. When we were laughing, it was fun, fun, fun. Oh, it was fun. in this video that we would talk about our subscriber challenge don't know where that came from okay. but it's good <laughs> okay. it was good roll with it Got so it. give them the deadline for when what deadline do you think sweet don't know we set this video going before we discussed it yeah we did i don't want to camp at the farm but... <laughs> So, the middle is like 17th. Yeah, or let's give them till the end of April. We'll have April be our entire birthday bash month. Maybe we'll celebrate our birthdays of the Cortez. We can have a party. I know! We should like have champagne and just spend the night in here and drink tons of bottles of champagne. Which We don't be like a... champagne. Well, I mean beer, wine. Okay. I don't care. I'm okay. not picky. Uh, Send us a, a message. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> dangers of sleeping in a... <laughs> Unrenovated RV. Are you sure you sure you want to risk it for your health? <laughs> for my MS, you're right. Yeah, it's gonna. You've got MS. <laughs> you cleaned the cork bit. I'm gonna buy a hammock. <laughs> I don't care. I'm going up there. I'm sleeping with my head there and my feet in your seat. I'm already looking at where I can mount my hammock. <laughs> this this Cortez cannot withstand your hammock. Love, you've walked on the roof. I've walked on the roof. You said the cork floor. It's on film. Boom. Okay, don't need to get mad at me because you want to sleep on the floor. I'll sleep on the driver's seat. I don't no, care. that's where my feet are going, sweet. 
No, it's not. Yeah. No, no, I claimed it. I, you claimed the passenger it's seat. It's in the film. It's in the film. You said the passenger seat, the bench. You I'm said the bench. I'm sorry. Sweet, I know you should sweet, be. Sweet, pretty boy, you better get on the floor. <laughs> get off my face. <laughs> do we do the oil now? What time is it? Time for you to work. <laughs> Are you going to do it? It's going to take me three days to get the feeling back in my leg. <laughs> oh. <laughs>